You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what I want to bring back. And that's when, when, when you do that, I've talked to so many people just over the phone. I've never met. They'll find me on Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube or somewhere right. like that and give me a call and, you know, ask me, what do you do, basically? And when I tell them, it's like, I need you. Yeah. Our company here needs you. I get calls like that every day. But my goal was to write the book to where it's not just in a box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wrote it to where whatever business it is, I can go in there and help them. And really, my um, epiphany came from when I was in Atlanta. I was doing things, just being creative, doing things out of the box, prospecting, follow up, just doing it different. And after two years, the company implemented what I was doing. We had a big meeting. Yeah. And this is the interesting part. The majority of the salespeople came to me and they were like, man, you got us doing this. And it was like, it was more work. That's what they were looking at. Like, uh-huh. I'm like, dude, if you do this, it will make you money. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get paid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. You know, then when I came back down here in 2007, worked for a company. And my, the owner brought me into the office. He said, Tim, how much money do you need to make? I said, 10000 a month. He said, well, you got to get to work. I said, I know. You didn't let me go get out of your office. <laughs> and what's crazy is, and I have it right here. Yeah. The next month, I made $10,800. And he came to me. He's like, Tim, you did it. I yeah. said, yeah. I said, that was the goal. <laughs> I sort of followed my exactly. own plan. Exactly. And yeah. that's the goal. And so what I want to do is show people that when you have a goal, you need to break them down. You need to understand it. You know, it's three steps to a goal. You have fantasy theory and fact. But the problem is most companies will say, hey, what's your goal this month? If you're yeah. a parts manager, whatever, what's your goal? How many houses are you going to sell this year? Right. But they don't never train you on how to sell the house. They train you on real estate. Yeah. But that's it. You just train you on the product. But they yeah. don't train you on the person you're going to talk to and yourself. So when I come in and do training, I train you on you. I show you that you have unlimited potential. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you do. I, I mean, you're preaching to the choir yeah. over here, man. So I, 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 I don't know. You, it, as, as any good salesperson, business person, business owner, this the moment that you realize you can no longer, and we said this in the, in the mm-hmm. seminar, you can no longer sell any product. Right. It, because it's not about that. Exactly. You you are the product. You're it. And the second that you start investing some time into that, That's it. it's like you said, you can just kind of apply this to whatever, whatever, whether it's gas, whether it's ice, it whether matter. it's, a, you know, exactly. Eskimos were selling it, whatever. Exactly. It's just, exactly. it's a matter of, of some self-development that's and it. really building into a system. That's it. That's all. And yeah. that's what I created. I have See? a system. I should have written your book, man. Hmm. Man, hey, you can, <laughs> you can co-author the next one. <laughs> that's it. So, uh, so let's talk about your company and, and why it's different and, mm-hmm. and, and why you're becoming so successful right, with it. Right, right. Basically, um, I started studying a lot of trainers, you know, like I said, about maybe 20 years ago. And what happens is a lot of them, even motivational speakers, they say they're going to help you come to the seminar or whatever. But when they speak, it's kind of like just spray and pray. You know what I'm saying? They kind of just vomit on the audience. I got this prepared speech sure. and they give it to you and hopefully you get something out of it. And the way I looked at that was, let's say you come to a doctor's office. There's 15 people in there. And I come out as the doctor and I give the same prescription to all the 15 people. Right. Is it going to help everybody? Sure. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, I need it. to find out. Okay. You have for a headache. Right. You got chest pains. You have leg problems. I need to find out what it is. So all my presentations are tailored. So when I go in somewhere, I pretty much find out, okay, what are you having problems with? You're right. You know what I'm saying? Just like a doctor. And pretty much what I do is I take the pulse of the audience. Just like when you go to the doctor, the first thing they do is what? Take your pulse, yep. get the thermometer in your mouth, yep. take the stethoscope, put it in your yeah. chest, breathe in and out, take the blood pressure. <laughs> it's the same thing every time. You know what I'm saying? And so that's basically what I do. I take the pulse of the audience, take their blood pressure, find out their temperature. Yeah. And then what I do is I tailor my presentations right then for them to help them. So I engage them. I ask questions. When I do sales training at car dealerships, I do the same thing. What problems are you having? Is it with follow-up, prospecting, right. gaining more business? What is it? And I'll show you how to do that. But it's pretty much like, you have to understand this. When you understand that selling is everything, you understand, okay, what is selling? You know, the theory of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need to understand that. Now, how to sell yourself. Now, if you don't know you, how are you going to sell yourself sure. to somebody else? Sure. And so that's what I do. I actually show you about you. You know, I get into, you know, how does the mind work? How does the subconscious mind work? How do you actually think about something, send that signal out into the universe because mm-hmm. thoughts penetrate to all time and space, and that comes back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, once I got you there, now we can build. We got to set a foundation and build off of that. Once I show you, you have unlimited potential. Now, once I teach you that, because that's a whole workshop in itself, sure. and then I show you, okay, now you got to take action. I don't know what you want to do, but you want to sell cars, you want to sell furniture, sell real estate. You need to take massive action. 
Now, once you take massive action, what's going to happen is this. You're going to get unbelievable results. Now, that unbelievable results is going to create a phenomenal belief system. That's what happened with me. When I started selling, yeah. I couldn't. I didn't know. Validation is a very powerful exactly. tool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so once I started reading all these books, bugging these guys, hey, how do I be yeah. successful? What's the key to success? I would ask questions like this every day. I never talked about the football game. I want to know how to be successful. Then I would leave work, go to the bookstore. Then on Sunday, sit at home and just read books and read books. And so I gathered all this information. But the goal was to be able to help people, not just have a bunch of knowledge. Sure. That I could just sit home with. Or just tell everybody about yeah. my goal was if you're struggling, I can help you. If you're struggling at the bank, if you're struggling at a financial company, real estate, it doesn't matter where. Let me show you how to market yourself offline and online. I know a lot of people that have businesses, they don't have a Facebook fan page. Yeah. They don't. See what I tell you, Joe. You got to have Facebook. You gotta, you gotta That's have it. it. You got to yeah. have it. They have a business, no yep. videos on YouTube. You're not marketing yourself <clears> right. You know what I'm saying? To give you an example of how I helped a lady, someone I went to high school with. She told me, we was on the phone. She said, well, I'm about to hang up because I'm going to go tutor at the library. I said, okay, you started a tutoring business. She said, no. I said, okay, why are you tutoring for someone else? Because she has a master's in special education. Mm -hmm. She lives in Mobile, Alabama, but she teaches in Mississippi. I said, okay. I said, when you finish that tutoring, give me a call. So she called me. She said, what's up? I said, come to my office. So she came. I said, we need to start you a business. I said, you have a master's in special education. Why are you working for someone else? So I said, we need to create a flyer. Right. I said, okay, you want to do it or you want my team to do it? So she went ahead and went home and created the flyer. I said, okay. I said, text me a picture of it when you finish it. She texted me a picture of it. I said, now take that flyer, email it to you because she had it on the phone. Mm -hmm. I said, email it to your flash, download it to your flash, mm -hmm. take that to FedEx Kinko's, print it off, print about 10 of them off. 